So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome to another chatbot tutorial for wit.ai using actually I said it wrong for messenger using wit.ai and uh, in this tutorial we're gonna train our chatbot with some data according to uh, whatever your chatbot is. So in my case chatbot which I'm creating is for CodeDAM so expect people to ask questions like um, how do I learn this, how do I learn X, how do I learn Y and stuff like this. So what I want to do is actually to train this wit.ai thing I want to straight away tell it a question how do I learn let's just say angular right and once I do that I'm gonna add a new entity now what this entity means is that uh, what you want to do with the things that the user is telling you right so the first thing I want to do is actually know what actually the user wants to do Right, broadly classifying the action of the user. So first of all, I want to know the intent of a particular user. So I created an entity called intent and I'm gonna give it a value of, uh, let's just say uh, learning. Now what this means is that I'm categorizing sentences like these, how do I learn something as an intent having a value of learning so whenever a user sends a sentence something like this to my chatbot this wit.ai would automatically be able to understand that the intent of the user the purpose of the user in this sentence has a value of learning with that being done the next thing i want to do is i want to extract what the user wants to learn in this case it is angular right so I'm gonna highlight this angular thing and I'm gonna create another entity now this time this would be an entity which consists of names of languages so I'm gonna write a language name here double click and hit enter right and it creates a new value of angular all right perfect now if I validate this you should be able to see that we have um, these two entities added to our chatbot. All right, but what is this trait and free text and keywords? Well, trait means that um, wit.ai would look at your whole sentence, your complete sentence to judge the intent. And obviously that makes sense because the intent should be judged only after reading the complete sentence. Whereas free text and keywords means that these are the free text or the keywords inside your sentences which you want to extract so uh, with that being done what I want to do is actually train it a little bit more with some data so let's just say how do I learn JavaScript let wit do its magic and let's just see if I add a new entity here, intent, value of learning, and I highlight JavaScript, value of language name, I validate this. All right, how do I learn jQuery? Okay, you can see that this time it picked it on its own. We have the language name as correct. Now, Wit is not really confident on this run right now. It's just 50%, but we are missing the intent here. So this is again learning. So I can just add that and validate. And uh, uh, I can add something like, uh, how do I um, learn uh, PHP? Let's just say. And you can see that uh, wit again returns me a language name of PHP and we are again missing the intents so I'm gonna put it as learning and hit validate uh, you can see that it could not validate this expression because uh, there's some sort of problem with my internet I believe just give me a second on this 
okay let's just try one more time so let's just say how do I learn um, about ES8 okay it gets the intent that I want to learn but it's not sure about what language it is so I'm gonna highlight ES8 I'm gonna add a language name and hit validate how uh, do I learn about um, let's just say react it gets the language name as react uh, I can add an intent of learning here as well and let's just say um, how do I learn um, react native and I can see that gets the language name wrong right now so what I can do is remove this and wait 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 uh, react native it is and I can get rid of this select this add a react native language name add another intent with a value of learning and hit validate okay with that being set up what I want to do is hop over to my messenger and actually uh, let me first of all select the built-in NLP here within uh, where is it it's a custom and with dot AI server access token just give me a okay my server access token is in place and now if I reload and actually um, if I visit the ngrok page as well so if I take a look here and if I say let's just say hey because the bot is right now configured pre-configured to just respond to whatever I said it's just echoing me back but right here you can see inside NLP I'm getting entities as an object let's just try something like how do I learn um, HTML okay and inside our um, post request you can see that uh, what we have in here is the language name as HTML now mind you that we did not add HTML anywhere here at all inside our languages name you can see that it's not HTML but the bot engine was was still able to pretty much guess it that this is a language name with a confidence value of 55% which is not so good because we haven't trained the bot very much yet but the intent of learning is quite confident which is a which has a value of 86 percent all right so how about how do i learn about um, jquery right and uh, if you take a look in the ngrok how do i learn about jquery you can see that it, it has a value intent of 99 percent that's a whooping high because it exactly matches one of the trained data we have so yeah so um, let's just say um, I add about uh, I add an intent here let's just say tell me uh, um, something about uh, well that's not really what people ask but um, anyway so tell me something about jQuery uh, okay so you can see that it actually guessed it quite well 95% score with an intent of uh, learning that's good language name could be jQuery there we are and then we have let's just say um, how do I begin with um, let's just say what we have in here Python let's just see you can see that the board was not able to predict so I can add an intent of learning here and a language of Python here that's it and uh, how do I begin with begin with Ruby on Rails let's just see how the bots doing 
um, not really well so let's just add intent ourselves learning and the language name would be actually this is not really a language but uh, anyways so uh, let's just ignore that fact uh, let's just validate so if now if I ask something like uh, how do I begin with the uh, react go to ngrok see the post request you can see that uh, um, we have an entity of language name with a confidence of 95% with the value of react but we do not have an entity of uh, um, our intent um, so we need to train it a little bit more how do I begin with let's just say HTML if I add so if I add an intent here of learning and the value of uh, um, let's just say language name validate and try to run it one more time you know you get the idea how you have to train your chatbot a little so um, it's more like putting in some manual data you have to do that if you want to make it a good one and uh, once we are here again let's just say how do I begin with CSS hit enter go to ngrok get the post request we can see that um, it saves me with a language name of value of confidence of over 90 percent just about 90 percent and the intent of a confidence of 99 percent so you can see that with just a few examples it's the confidence is whooping high for unknown values as well for um, the intent as well so that is pretty much how you would train your chatbot with wit.ai and according to this what you want to do is actually um, for in my case what I would do is if I have tutorials related to this on YouTube um, as a playlist or something I would return that playlist or the top two videos and uh, send it to the user what you would like to do depends entirely on you so yeah that is how pretty much you would train your wit.ai chatbot and the only takeaways from this video is uh, you have to create an intent you have to create custom entities um, which define um, uh, what kind of keywords or free text you want to extract and the intent as a overall which is labeled as a trait sees your sentence overall and categorizes it into one of its values so right now i have just uh, one intent which is quite less and a lot of language names so you can have multiple entities here and multiple intent values as well so that is all for this one and if you liked it then please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video